Surprise, surprise, motherfucker! The king is back! Well, if you want to tell me that this particular fighter is on the wrong end of the power equation, I'll give you that. But few guys can match his speed and his footwork. Prevailing wisdom is he'll try to fight on the outside tonight, stick and move a little bit. Exceptionally quick on his feet. Sets up angles beautifully. Manages distance as good as anybody on the roster. Knows how to set up his attacks. Knows how to stay in his opponent's range. Figures to be a big part of the strategy tonight, given the power that's coming back. martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you wanted to be like Bruce Lee. You wanted to be that fast. You wanted to be that charismatic. You wanted to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Unbelievably, just so what? And now our fill the tape for this heavyweight fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> So Herb Dean, third man Ready. in there for this one. Ready. Good. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training. And I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs or to the body. What a technique. This is not a place where you build into something. You got to be ready to fight the moment the fight goes. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. So more output, at least in the early going. Let's go. Let's get that tape down now. Boom. Straight left hand. Lead kick landed there by Lee. Look at 
how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Massive elbow for the coach. Just over three minutes here to go round one. Oh. Keep moving forward. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Big power shot there. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. The straight right is there. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to knock his head off. Oh! oh, he might get finished here. Oh, nice right hand. Strong outside leg kick. What a kick. That one landed. All right, let's go. 90 seconds to go in round one. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination there. Very accurate, a lot of activity, and the hands look phenomenal tonight. Oh, good block there. Under a minute to go in our opening round. Fights a little welt there starting to develop on the side of his body. A lot of strikes landing in that area tonight. I mean, he's got to do something. You cannot continue to ignore that you're getting hit in the body over and over again. You better address it now before we... Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, nice body shot. Big right hand. Fifteen seconds. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Right. Round two straight ahead. Hey, stop. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Second round on the way. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, landed that kick to the leg. Oh, head kick, bang. Missed with that attempt. That one's not in. Nice strike. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big straight left. 
Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate now. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I gotta protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red the side of his body is. He's got to change something. Straight left hand. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller. Guys. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Oh, great block there. Under three minutes here to go in round two. Another knee. Sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Let's work, guys. He loaded up there on that high kick. Well, missed on that one. Don't back up. Nice body shot. Any body kick may finish this fight. It does not have to be the front one up the middle. Just over two minutes to go. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Huge oh, connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Under a minute now to go. Straight right hand now just misses. Checks the leg kick. Oh, All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Right. Round three next. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring and then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets underway. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. 
All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Well, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue down the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of the stage. Nice jab by Luke. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Really using his reach advantage to great effect with that punch there. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Swing and a miss by Lee. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. How about the leg kick there? Beautiful. Three minutes to go in round three. Lee getting tattooed by that stiff jab. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble chin. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. And now a left. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game. Oh, man, he's hurt. Oh, man, he's hurt. Trying to kick the leg out. Just over two minutes now to go. His work. Lee gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Trying to... Absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. Good right here. Oh, just misses with the kick. That's a big hook. Oh! Was there earlier, not there on that attempt. School fighters start to open up a little bit. Under a minute to go. Well, you hear that crowd reaction every time he gets battered to the body. I know how tough he is, but really don't want to take too many more of those. I mean, even us, we're grimacing like How many more can this guy take? He cannot continue to take these body shots. It looks as though we're getting very close to a body shot finish. Thirty seconds now to go on the round. Ready to go. Come on. Need some more, guys. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. All right, there's the horn. How about that round? He got him badly there early on. You thought that maybe that was going to be the beginning of the end. At the very least here, got to think he's going to try to get him out of here in this next round. J.A., he's on skates. I mean, he was on skates. His ability to withstand that avalanche is commendable, but he has to change something 
as he approaches the next round. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. Side leg kick, yeah. Lee's limping. That would suggest that the leg kick is having the desired effect. Ooh, he didn't see that one coming. Beautiful combination. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough the opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go and get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. What a great fight. Damage doled out on both sides. Perhaps some bonus money coming the way of these two individuals. 50K, baby. Somebody's getting paid. These two guys are doing a great job in a fight that is so competitive. That is so evenly matched. These two really will be proud of the effort that they have shown inside the octagon tonight. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Single collar timeout. Oh man, his leg kicks are outstanding and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as the opponent starts to slow down, you cannot take many of those kicks. to go on the rounds. Oh, that cut on his nose is only getting worse. Not good. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious, so he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's going so much, he keeps missing, and by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. He's cut now above the eye, courtesy of that strike. We will keep an eye on it as the fight continues. Dig and kick. Well, he was knocked down by his opponent earlier in the round, and I'm not sure he's... Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, that's big. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Notice the drive. Look at how he drive the knee right into the midsection. I love that one. I love when the guy throws a kick with that much power. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Under a minute to go in round four. Beautiful punch to the body. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Oh, a huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. 
Outstanding meeting the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. indicating the end of round four. All right, there's the end of the round and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. Ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. Clipped him with the right hand there. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Just missed on the front kick there. Big right hand, yes. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one, likely the source of that confidence. When everything is going great, you tend to feel like you can walk through a wall. He doesn't need to walk through a wall. He needs to continue to find the right avenue to land those shots. Nice diversity in the attack. Huge elbow lands from the clinch. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Lee's taking aim at that cut right now, and hard to blame him, right? Might as well continue to target that area. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, with authority, the body. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock them out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance. He's got to start throwing down. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, he's got him hurting here. Oh! Back up. Back up. Gets to the single card. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Well, that is as bad a cut as we have seen in some time. You see the referee monitoring things closely. We might get a stoppage soon. Yeah, he needs to monitor it. And, John, many times we are on the officials to stop the fight. This is one of those times where it needs to happen right now. Stop. All right, well, the ref's going to step in here. He has done a job on his nose. You see what I did there? Nose shot. <laughs> but, John, it's a bloody nose. We've all had bloody noses. We got bloody noses in our first fight at seven years old. So I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll let him keep fighting. Doctor taking a close look here. Do you know your blood type, DC? No, I absolutely don't. I wish I did, and I probably should. I am 43 years old. Uh -huh. I should fight. know what my blood type is. All right, looks as though the action is going to continue, at least for now. All right, so the ringside position has made his way back to his seat. The referee gets the action back underway. The fans are excited this fight's going to continue. Absolutely, and I'm just as excited myself. I want to see these guys. Right there. I'm not 
sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot, and he landed. Great job. What an absolute war it has been. Probably going to hold up in the fight of the year conversation, and I wouldn't be surprised to see both fighters at the hospital visit tonight. It just takes me back to certain fights. It takes me back to Michael Johnson against Justin Gaethje. Justin Gaethje versus Michael Chandler. Michael Chandler versus Dustin Poirier. The best fights in the world is what I think about when I look at these two. From the blood, from the damage, to the heart and the spirit that these two have shown. I cannot believe that these guys have made it to a minute left in the fight with that type of ability. Oh, and he's back up again. Nice defense there, huge block. Thirty seconds to go here. Oh! Twenty seconds to go in the fight. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. The Ladies official and decision is in. It resides rounds, with Bruce Buck. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 50-44. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC.